Okay, so we soaked our beans for 24 hours, and now we're going to rinse them really well and get all of that sugars and stuff off that cause gas. And then you can take any that have split and take those out if you want. Um, you don't have to. Okay, so we got our beans washed off really good. They soaked overnight um, for 24 hours, so that just um, to get rid of everything, you know, the sugars that cause the gas. So what I did next was I put two tablespoons of um, olive oil in there, two bay leaves, and then I have this um, ham. It's just sweet brown sugar ham, and I'll just throw all that in there. And then I have this onion. It's um, about half of an onion that I've chopped up and I've put in there. So I'll put all of that. And then next I will um, fill the pot with water. Um, and I'm using bottled water. If you have um, hard water in your house, then your beans are gonna be hard. So it's better if you just use bottled water. And I think I'll use probably two full bottles. Let's see, because we want the water to be about an inch and a half to two inches over the beans. So about two, two and a half bottles of water probably be good. All right, and then I put my two bay leaves in there. I don't know if I said that. And then um, I'll put it on the stove and let it get to a bowl and then I'll be back. Okay, so I got the beans starting to broil now. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this um, Goya. It's jamon flavor. You can just find this in your seasonings. Here's the English side, in case you need it. Um, ham flavored. Um, and it's not made from, you know, actual meat or anything, and it comes in little packs like this. Um, so in case, I mean, I know I put meat in mine, so I don't care. But uh, for like, you know, if you're vegan or whatever, um, it doesn't actually have, you know, it's not made from that. It's just going to give it that flavor. And I'm going to use two of them. Since this is a pretty big bowl, sorry. I'm trying to keep this camera still for you. Um, actually, I'll just show you what seasons I'm doing instead of putting them in. That way you don't have to shake around. So I'm putting that Goya in. I'm going to put two packs. They come. And then I'll do some accent. Um, accent uh, looks like salt, but it's not salty. So don't be scared of it. It's going to give it a real uh, good flavor. And then I'm going to put in some garlic powder, some Lowry seasoning salt. And then um, I'm going to put in some of this uh, caldo that's chicken flavor. And then I'll do pink Himalayan salt. And then we'll go with some ground pepper. Um, also, uh, oh, I think I told you that I put in the onion. Um, also, I'm gonna use some fresh garlic. I'm gonna take off about two of these cloves and chop them up and throw it in there as well. So once I get all my seasonings in, I'll come back. Um, these seasonings, like in these, I'm not measuring them. So what I'll do is I'll just sprinkle it over top. Okay, um, and all of that foamy stuff, that will go away, but I'm actually going to pull it out just in case that some of the sugars that uh, will cause gas as well. We soak these beans for 24 hours and rinse them really well, so they should be good to go, but just as an over precaution, um, that's what I'll do off camera and then I'll be back to show you what's next okay so we're back I've got everything in the pot I've stirred everything make got it all corp incorporated in there and then um, so I've taken off most of that foamy stuff that's just the sugars and that's what is gonna cause gas so we had a little bit of that left um, you know it's it's beans it's pinto beans you know you can't really um, get away from all of it but get away from as much as you can so we've got everything in, it's incorporated. Um, I will just put a lid on this um, and leave it off just a little like that for the steam to get through. That way it will hit the top and recirculate back down in there. Um, and then after they cook about um, an hour, 
45 minutes, an hour, 45 minutes or an hour, I'm sorry. Um, since my beans soaked so long, they will not take as long to cook. So normally they'll take maybe like three or four hours if you just soak them for a little while. Um, but mine soaked for 24 to 36 hours. Um, and then at, anyways, after they cook for an hour, I've got some green onions chopped up here. And I will incorporate those in as well. And I'll be back. Okay, the beans have been cooking for about 45 minutes. So this is how they're looking. Um, since I soaked them so long, they won't take as long to cook. So they're doing really well. So I would say they're about halfway there now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in one fourth cup of sugar. And then I have about a cup of green onions and I'm just going to add those in there. Um, I would like to have bell pepper but I don't have any so I'm going to substitute with green onions because they're so good and they'll taste yummy. Alright, so I'm going to put the lid back on and let this continue probably about 45 more minutes. Okay guys, so the pintos are done. I soaked them for 24 to 36 hours. I can't remember. And um, then I cooked them for an hour and a half. They are finished and look delicious and they smell very delicious. I'm just going to leave them on the stove and let them cook about 30 more minutes. Um, I wanted you to show you my... Um, sauce so it is a different color than normal so normally it's usually really dark brown and or um, you know all soaked up but uh, this one I used chicken bouillon so it gave it that yellow uh, pretty flavor uh, color so um, if you want the darker color then um, don't put that chicken bouillon in all right don't forget to like and subscribe